There's about, yeah, probably about 200 here, guys. And they're still coming. These people were detained in mid-April by a right-wing militia group known as the United Constitutional Patriots. It's a group of Americans who are patrolling part of the New Mexico desert near the Mexican border, where many migrants pass through. Peter Simonson, executive director of the American Civil Liberties Union in New Mexico, explains why the group's activity was so shocking. The video shows hundreds of immigrants, some of them um, children, some too young to even walk. It's almost as if they are showing a trophy that they've captured. Many of the vigilantes, in addition to wearing a uniform-looking military camouflage, wear official-looking badges on the center of their chest. Many of them carry weapons. Some of the weapons are semi-automatic weapons. We think that armed vigilantes should not be trying to enforce the laws of the land. U.S. Customs and Border Protection officials said they did not endorse private groups taking enforcement matters into their own hands. But Simonson isn't convinced. The vigilantes posted a picture showing a vigilante posing with two Border Patrol agents. And the videos show several instances where Border Patrol has arrived on the scene and is actually taking the people that the vigilantes have taken hostage to take those people into custody. So the actions of the individual officers would suggest that they strongly support them. Somebody call Border Patrol? Yeah. Okay. It's a testament to the time that we're living through. We have a president who endorses these kinds of groups, at least implicitly.